Now we're going to be looking at online communities and methods of communicating. Okay, so some of these we already all know. Social media has always been a big thing, especially for this new generation coming up. Social media sites like Facebook are used to share content and communicate with others. A key part of this is creating groups, often based around locations, events, or hobbies, to communicate news and stories with others who share these interests. There are also professional media sites such as LinkedIn. LinkedIn is a platform for professionals who want to find jobs, who want to find workers, and just to link people within a particular industry. For number two, we have blogs and microblogs, and vlogs as well. So a blog is essentially a text description of whatever that person is doing, whatever they want to talk about or describe. A vlog, a video log, or a video blog is essentially just a video, but in the same format. So people give uh, information such as news and opinions on topics. Uh, you just follow someone's vlog, you follow their life, you follow their story. Whatever topic of interest that person wants to speak about or video, okay? So that's all a blog is. So many of us use YouTube to actually follow blogs um, people's, about people's personal lives, about topics they're interested in. For example, I like to follow videos on technology, on IT, on computers, on games, those, that's the kind of stuff I'm interested in. People have blogs on this, which they write about stuff online, and they detail the steps that they follow to carry out a specific task. People also have vlogs, video blogs, or video log of what they're doing, which is the same thing, but in video format, which, in my opinion, has become... Videos are the new books now. People don't read as much anymore. In my opinion, they go to YouTube, they find a video to learn the thing they want to learn, to hear about the thing they want to hear about. For number three, we have wikis. Wikis are created and maintained by online communities. Groups of people with shared interests add and edit content on a site to ensure the information is up to date and accurate. For example, you can find a dedicated wiki for most popular video games, movies, and TV shows. That is correct. I am not so great at playing games as much as I love them. So sometimes I go to the wiki for that game. And what the wiki is, it, it will have a detailed descriptions of what needs to be done in order for me to fulfill a particular task. Uh, the same thing for TV shows and movies. There's a wiki online for TV shows I like. So if there's something I've missed in the lore or if, if there's something that has popped up and I don't remember, oh, why is this thing popped up? Rather than reading or watching the entire series again, I could go to the wiki and simply learn or re try to remember that thing I'm trying to remember. We have chat rooms and instant messaging for number four. But I'm actually going to skip the chat room one. Because uh, chat rooms are essentially instant messaging platforms or messaging platforms where multiple people uh, congregate to speak about a particular topic, view, whatever it is, right? I think in this day and age, instant messaging is a lot more relevant. Instant messaging also lets users write a short uh, text message but directly to a person or a group or selected people. So it is slightly more private than a chat room. Yes, a chat room is more open. However, as we all know, we can create groups in apps like WhatsApp, Telegram, Signal, and we can have hundreds of people within that group. So there is not much privacy within the group, right? But the chat room is more widely accessible by people on the internet. So anyone can join a chat room uh, if they have the internet, whereas instant messaging is a bit more secure, a bit more private, and it's me sending a message to you, you sending a message to me. We can add more people to that group and add files if we need to because whatsapp now has features to send videos and audio pictures everything so that's what instant messaging is to sending a message to someone that gets there relatively instantly based on the speed of their internet and and or their device number five we have podcasts podcasts are audio and sometimes video files posted to the internet for download they are normally produced as a, um, as a series on a particular topic, people interested in the topic can subscribe to the podcast to get the latest episode. Now, this has been heavily replaced, in my opinion, by a video cast, which does exactly the same thing, but simply adds a video instead, where people sit, sit in a room maybe and speak about a particular topic. Again, I'm very much into gaming, so I follow ones like IGN and GameSpot, and they speak about different types of games, different types of technologies, so on and so forth. Okay, so a podcast is an audio file or video file posted to the internet about a particular topic or group of topics. Number six, we have forums. 
and these are also known as message boards. A forum is a website used for online discussion where users can post messages and questions publicly uh, for other users of the site to read and respond to. Forums are usually based on a topic of interest such as technology or particular hobbies. Forums are very much like chat rooms, but chat rooms are more instant. As in, if you're in a chat room with other people, you're going to send a message and they're going to be able to reply straight away. Forums are more along the lines of, I have an issue with this thing. You still post a message or you, or you still post a question, but people don't normally reply straight away unless they're obviously online waiting in the chat room for a question um, or, or in the forum for a question, sorry. 